Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here's the lightweight contender, Armand Sarukyan, as this round gets underway. There are easier draws in a UFC debut than Islam Akashev on short notice. He was competitive that night, and he has been largely dominant throughout his UFC lightweight career. He believes he will have both the striking and the grappling advantage in this particular matchup here tonight. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Man, no feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other. I mean, they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. That is a clean strike, and it gets right through the goal. Oh, nice left hook. There by Dober. Sarajana's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Oh, beautiful. Sarajana's strike attempt there is blocked. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's that was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Big right hand lands. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, well, that swelling has essentially rendered him a one-eyed fighter, and to that end, the referee has paused the action. He calls for the ringside position. And here comes the doctor. The doctor's going to take a look at him, check out the swelling, give him the old finger test to see if he can see his opponent in front of him and decide whether or not he can continue. Dr. Corrales, the referee, it looks as though this fight will continue, at least for now, but certainly that's swelling. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, let us get to the early round action here, and a lot of people believe that Armand Sarukyan eventually will be a UFC champion. Had a main event with Mataj Gamrat, that did not go his way, but he's back on the horse, still believes that he will be a force to be reckoned with in this division, and as far as this matchup is concerned, doesn't really see a whole lot of holes in his opponent's game, so we'll see how he chooses to attack. All right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You could stop this fight right now. You can stop it right now. I mean, that's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect, and that one landed perfect. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Twenty seconds to go. Dover gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Salazar is now dealing with a cheat cut. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, he catches oh, the oh. Kick here, and now he goes for the takedown, it's there. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point. You ready to fight? You ready? Boy, right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control. This man is landing through with ground and pound. He gets hit with another massive ground and pound strike. He has got to protect this cut. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, elbows from the bottom now, okay. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Sarukyan. Oh, nice. Well, you know this is the hurt business. Oh, big shots raining down. Oh, another huge ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? And back to his feet. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Takedown defense holds up. Push kick there to the body. Beautiful punch.
punch lands. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. All right, now they separate. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, what? you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Well, an incredible fight thus far. Both fighters look like they could be finished at any time. If you wondered about the heart on either side, that question was answered to nothing. There are no more questions in regards to these two fighters. Both of these men have been hurt. Both of these men are swollen. They're bloody. They're both, even though though, they're both willing and ready to continue this fight. All right, so the ref has called a break to the action, and it likely means, yes, he will call in the doctor to look at that cut, which is just leaking all over the octagon. Right a lot of blood, John, but this is a fight. I mean, guys bleed, girls bleed. Uh -huh. It happens in a fight. These guys should be able to continue. Yeah, that's going to yeah. do it. Fans don't like it. An unfortunate ending to a great fight, but you had to do it. He's disappointed, but, I mean, he got beat up, lived to fight another day, I think the official saved him. All right, we said it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called...